Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Lead Code Data Science with MLU Prasad. A small intro about myself. Myself, MLU Prasad, I am a mentor for data science and analytics at various tech companies. In addition to that, I have also have a master's degree in computer science with a specialization in AI and machine learning. And I am here to just share my expertise and data science uh, wisdom to through YouTube. And this is my personal website where I will be sharing the updates of my channel. It will be updated by the next month. You can follow along with that for the next updates. And this is my agenda through my YouTube channel which I am having. Until next year, I will be uploading videos on SQL, the solutions of them using the GitHub repository, data structures and algorithms, entire stack, probability and statistics for data science, different different uh, deep learning based computer vision and uh, NLP based Kaggle computation, entire computer vision module, NLP module and also preparation uh, modules for this data analytics and also data science currently I have been having 683 subscribers and I kept a goal to have at least 1 lakh by the end of next year please subscribe to my channel and help me pursue my goal and the question which we are trying to solve today is 1205 type medium name of the question is monthly transactions 2 if you want to network with me regarding data science or if you want to talk anything regarding anything your career or anything you can have a free 15 minute session with me the link will be available in the description below and every month I also teach Python and SQL for data science people everything end-to-end -end data stack if you are interested in learning you can ping me at this mail or call me via whatsapp number 7680896860 and let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today it's a fantastic question they're given a table called transactions okay now let's let me explain it. They are given a table called transactions where five IDs means five transactions in the respective countries whether it is, has been approved or declined on which date it has been amount uh, done and which transaction date similarly charge back dates and the amount of final let's see now what they've done is there are three months and years in transaction days in chargebacks you can see 2019 15 2019 6 2019 9 so on and let's see the country where they are belonging to everyone is from the country USA only and approved count okay let's see for this month 2005 195 how many months are there two months in these two months how many thing is approved only one so only one count approved amount what is the approved amount thousand rupees again 2019-5 the chargeback is what for transaction ID 2 so what transaction ID 2 what is this amount 2000 similarly for the 96 there are 96 oh sorry 2019-6 there are three rows and among them you can see that only two things are approved so only two approved the sum of two approved is 3000 plus 5000 which is 8000 2019 6 and 101 only one row got charged back so one row so what is the charge back amount 96 it is for the transaction ID 1 so it will be what 1000 and 105 nothing is there for the 105 so 0 0 and again what is there here let's see okay and again nothing is there so only one count and one charge back so how to get this okay let's do one thing let's filter this table only for approved only okay and let's create one more table for charge back dates what is the amounts and countries okay this is B table charge backs let's combine these two tables after that we can group by month and we can calculate all the other things okay 
let's see it I will show you how to do that now first of all from one from one what we want from transaction where state is equal to approved let's select all the rows okay we got all the rows but we don't want in the this format we want year and month format comma let's take year and month is automatically the first seven letters right so I can do a concatenation also but it is a better way transash date comma seven let's call it as transaction month okay now we got it transaction month let's call it as some CT with the CT now let's from chargebacks what we need to do we need to see what is the respective amount in that for example you can see for one uh, transaction date this is 102 what is the amount we need to connect by a transaction ID and ID wherever it is there we will get the details right so I will write in our join transaction B on on a dot trans ID equal to B dot ID Now you can see we got this stage also for charge back also we got it above things also we got it but we don't require the things right if you see all the things which is being satisfied let's call them as chargebacks comma charge as charge Similarly here also let's call comma approved or app app as some uh, status here also let's call it status we don't require all the columns what are the columns let's take it first is transaction ID okay transaction ID we have trans date is required no okay, let's take it in the same order which is there above let's select trans id yes trans id country is there after that uh, we want state also right state is not required let's remove here also or we can keep it doesn't matter anyway we are creating a new row doesn't matter let's keep state also in that same order now what is required amount is required trans date is required comma left off trans date comma 7 let's call it as what same tm only let's call it comma charge because we can get to know which are charge rows and this rows as what is this they, okay, they call it status okay let's call it as ct2 now let's combine these two tables from ct okay select all from 
city these two tables let's join them vertically Let's see, it's working. It's like, let me reload. Okay, column trans state is ambiguous. Let's see it. Okay, we want only a dot trans state. We don't want both these columns. Let's see it. Okay, ID column is there. Okay, let's call it as DID. This also, let's call it as DID. Okay, we need to give all the columns, right? TID. Next thing is what? Comma country. Comma state. Comma amount. Comma trans state. Okay, let's submit it. Let's see. Okay. Again, strand state field this list is ambiguous. It is showing. What is the thing which is ambiguous so much? Okay, where state is equal to approved. ID as TID, country, state, amount. Uh, translate laptop something okay, let's call this one also TD then Let's do one thing. Let's run both of them. Okay, we are getting what? Okay, one not one, one not two, one not three. Three approved. Okay. Similarly for two T A D country state amount T D T M T H okay, let's see for two also. Okay. 
get two it is causing an issue then from chargeback CA okay E where what we are trying to do A dot trans ID equal to B dot ID okay that's it this is what again a dot trans id as tid countries country state country state amount trans state td left of trans state okay let's call it again okay there are, it is the issue i didn't kept it Okay, now it's working. Now let's remove this. There are two transaction dates. I kept only one thing. Okay, now we got this answer. Let's see. Now, what should be the answer? Okay, okay, this should be CTE one. Okay, now we got the entire table. Okay, now what we need to do, we need to group by this TM column. Okay, let's call it as some CTE three. Now let's see how can we get this. First of all, we need to group by this one. So from CTE3, group by, we need to do what? TM comma country. Okay. Here also, TM, sorry, select TM comma country and what we need to do for example 2005 195 is there only when it is approved we want the amount so first of all sum case when status equal to approved so here you can observe there are how many rows one row there is here one more row okay so when you group by it there will be two rows right so after grouping by i want only count the rows which are app not charge so what i will do is when status is equal to approved let's call it as one else zero okay now what will happen this will become one this will become zero okay now if you do the sum of these things you will get the count of rows so approved count similarly now we want approved amount just instead of 1 and 0 let's call then amount else 0 because here 1000 should be considered here 0 should be considered because we were calculating only that now let's copy this thing Let's call it as F amount. Similarly, for here, charge. Similarly, here, charge. Again, here, amount. And what is the column names they're saying? They want to call this one as approved amount. Similarly, charge back amount. Clearly here, charge okay, charge back count and amount. This should be here. Count.
okay you should keep end i forgot case when end 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 okay You have an error in check the manual code to make a question for the rice and use a sum case when status equal then amount else zero and okay comma should be kept here okay let's see where is the issue Okay, we are getting the right answers okay tm should be called as month yeah finally it's been successfully submitted thanks for watching my video if you want more explanations like this you can subscribe to my channel and if you want to more learn more of uh, data science topics like python numpy pandas matplotlib seaborn OpenCV, PyTorch, etc. It are available in my Kaggle notebooks. Everything will be available as a 100 part chapter. You can get this via my Kofi channel. All the links are available here for free. You can go here, all the notebooks are available. And if my channel is providing any value to you, you can just support my channel by doing some donation here. Thanks for watching. See you next time.